Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Age Inquisition. So we in this one we're gonna complete or we'll continue even with our story missions. There may be some cutscenes and stuff flying around all over the place, we'll have to see what's going on. First of all we've got to go to the war room, travel to Valroyo, and we've got four out of four powers that we're doing okay. Okay, so now that we're here we can probably we got we got one thing to do some perks so coordination in infrastructure training in the fine Diana? arts anything new we don't already know about no nothing detailed study of magic and the places and creatures that may interact with opens up new dialogue options related to the fade or arcane studies 50 cent xp grants 10 percent chance to receive an extra herbs Grant significant increase the discovery range and of the search in action. Okay, that sounds quite good because I do utilize that. So we'll do that. What else can be done in the war room then? We've got to head to Val Royale, wherever that Royal I think it was called. Right, so we've completed this, that one. Gather coin has been accepted. So we got 73 gold received. Locate weapon of Tide of Bright Axe available. Let's send Josephine. Yep, you got 22 minutes, was that, or hours? 22 hours, I think. So 22 hours for Josephine to complete that. We could scout the Storm Coast. Yep, you can do that, my good, good friend. New area unlocked. We won't venture forth just yet. But let's go back. What about this area over here? There's Val Royo. So we should go. That we got to go there, haven't we? So let's um, levels four to seven. We can do that. Having the Herald address the clerics is not a terrible idea. You can't be serious. Mother Giselle isn't wrong. At the moment, the Chantry's only strength is that they are united in opinion. And we should ignore the danger to the Herald. Let's ask him. Yeah, I'm not really worried. What can they do? It's just talk. Don't underestimate the power of their words. An angry mob will do you in just as quickly as a blade. I will go with him. Mother Giselle said she could provide us names. Use them. But why? This is nothing but a... What choice do we have, Liliana? Right now we can't approach anyone for help with the breach. Use what influence we have to call the clerics together. Once they are ready, we will see this through. Okay, so address the Chantry in Val Royo. The remaining Chantry clerics have declared the Inquisition heretical. Heretical attempts to gather allies against the breach have been rebuffed, and at this moment we could not step foot into the capital without being attacked by a mob or arrested. We must convince the Chantry to permit us entry into the city so we can show them the Herald of Andraste is not the monster they believe. Let us confirm that, and we should hopefully head there now. The city still mourns.
Just a guess seeker, but I think they all know who we are. Your skills of observation never fail to impress me, Varric. My Lord Herald. You're one of Leliana's people. What have you found? The Chantry Mothers await you, but so do a great many Templars. There are Templars here? People seem to think the Templars will protect them from... from the Inquisition. They're gathering on the other side of the market. I think that's where the Templars intend to meet you. Only one thing to do, then. They wish to protect the people? From us? We knew there would be some kind of reaction. But I didn't expect the Templars to make an appearance. Return to Haven. Someone will need to inform them if we are delayed. As you say, my lady. Stand wary, guardsmen. Good people of Val Royal, hear me. Together, we mourn our divine. A naive and beautiful heart silenced by treachery. You wonder what will become of her murderer. Well, wonder no more. Behold. The so-called Herald of Andraste, claiming to rise where our beloved fell. We say this is a false prophet. The Maker would say no elf in our hour of need. I make no such claim. I wasn't sent here by Andraste or the Maker. I'm simply trying to close the breach. It threatens us all. It's true. The Inquisition seeks only to end this madness before it is too late. It is already too late. The Templars have returned to the Chantry. They will face this Inquisition and the people will be safe once more. Still yourself. She is beneath us. You're not here to deal with the Inquisition. As if there were any reason to. Lord Seeker Lucius, it's imperative that we speak with... You will not address me. Lord Seeker? Creating a heretical movement, raising up a puppet as Andraste's prophet, you should be ashamed. You should all be ashamed. The Templars failed no one when they left the Chantry to purge the mages. You are the ones who have failed. You who'd leash our righteous swords with doubt and fear. If you came to appeal to the Chantry, you are too late. The only destiny here that demands respect is mine. Templars, one of your own commands the Inquisition's forces. Join us as he did. <laughs> A staunch and loyal member of the Order. So loyal, he abandoned them for a false herald. But Lord Seeker... What if he really was sent by the Maker? What if... You are called to a higher purpose. Do not question. I will make the Templar Order a power that stands alone against the Void. We deserve recognition. Independence. You have shown me nothing. And the Inquisition, less than nothing. Templars. Val Royo is unworthy of our protection. We march. Charming fellow, isn't he? Has 
Lord Seeker Lucius gone mad? Do you know him very well? He took over the Seekers of Truth two years ago, after Lord Seeker Lambert's death. He was always a decent man, never given to ambition and grandstanding. This is very bizarre. It doesn't look like we'll be getting the Templars to help us after all. I wouldn't write them off so quickly. There must be those in the Order who see what he's become. Either way, we should first return to Haven and inform the others. Okay, so... The Templar look like they're more of an enemy of us than what the Chantry are, and they've been... The Chantry have been snuffed out by the looks of things. So we'll have to see... What the hell just happened? An arrow with a message? Find friends among the stunned. Mysterious arrow, eh? People say you're special, I want to help, and I can bring everyone. There's a baddie in Val Royo, I hear he wants to hurt you. Have a search for the red things in the market, the docks, and round the calf, and maybe you'll meet him first. Bring swords. Friend of Red Jenny. Friends of Red Jenny. A poor drawing of the location of the market is attached. Interesting. Okay, so we're going to have to have a little look around the market, it seems. I believe that map. You are the Herald of Andraste, are you not? I have an invitation for you. You are cordially invited to attend my salon held at the Chateau of Duke Bastien de Ghislaine. Yours, Vivian Defer, first enchanter of Montismard, enchanter to the Imperial Court. Okay, so it looks like we've got a few things in. Uh, Vile Royo that we are able to deal with. So there's a friend of Jenny there and there. And there was another one, wasn't there? Is that one? Oh, we don't know who that is at the moment, isn't it? I think. So let's. While we're here, we might as well complete a couple of. Wait, is this the right one? The threat remains. Return to Haven. Head to the Inquisition's Raw Room. Yeah, while we're here, we might as well complete a couple of these quests as well. So a friend of Red Jenny, I think we'll do that one first. Let's head over this direction. There's quite a few of these uh, fast travel stones around here. Oh, they, they're doors to somewhere. Okay. We should search the area. Andraste, Our Lady, the sword and the fire against Tevinter, betrayed to the Empire in exchange for a kingdom. Okay, don't know what that's about. Ah, there we go, there's a red thing there. Okay, thank you friends for helping good Lady Keris. Saw those who asked about Herald enter third passage, could not stay to see them exit. Okay, and we better go to the other place. Key lifted from drunk, swearing about Herald. Don't know what door. I'm out. My debt is paid. Okay, so it's a little bit unusual. Don't know really know what's going on. So search the upper market. Are we in the upper market now? Is that what this place is? This is no. This is the main level. We need to get to the upper market then, I'm assuming, and then we will be able to find what the key unlocks, I'm assuming. Slightly unusual, don't know what's quite what's going on. In fact, if we look at the inner circle and we see what's going on there, that might take us to the location we need to go. Use the world map to attend the salon. 
I see. Okay, so we could go over there. Let's let's go deal with this. Let's go. If I might have a moment of your time. Grand Enchanter Fiona. Leader of the Mage Rebellion. Is it not dangerous for you to be here? I heard of this gathering, and I wanted to see the fabled Herald of Andraste with my own eyes. If it's help with the breach you seek, perhaps my people are the wiser option. The Mages weren't willing to talk to the Inquisition before. Why now? Because now I've seen what you are. And I've seen the Chantry for what it is. Consider this an invitation to Redcliffe. Come, meet with the mages. An alliance could help us both, after all. I hope to see you there. Au revoir, my Lord Herald. Come, let us return to Haven. Master Lavellan, on behalf of the Inquisition. A pleasure, sir. We so rarely have a chance to meet anyone new. It is always the same crowd at these parties. So you must be a guest of Madame de Fer, or are you here for Duke Bastien? Are you here on business? I have heard the most curious tales of you. I cannot imagine half of them are true. Some of those storytellers may have gotten carried away. But only for the best effect. The Inquisition is a ripe subject for wild tales. The Inquisition. What a lot of pig shit. Washed up sisters and crazed seekers. No one can take them seriously. Everyone knows it's just an excuse for a bunch of political outcasts to grab power. The Inquisition is working to restore peace and order to Thedas. Here comes the outsider, restoring peace with an army. We know what your Inquisition truly is. If you were a man of honor, you'd step outside and answer the charges. My dear Marquis, how unkind of you to use such language in my house to my guests. You know such rudeness is intolerable. Uh, Madame Vivienne, I humbly beg your pardon. You should. Whatever am I going to do with you, my dear? My lord, you're the wounded party in this unfortunate affair. What would you have me do with this foolish, foolish man? I think the Marquis has seen the error of his ways. By the grace of Andraste, you have your life, my dear. Do be more careful with it. <laughs> I'm delighted you could attend this little gathering. I've so wanted to meet you. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Vivienne. First Enchanter of Mont Simard, an Enchantress to the Imperial Court. Charmed, Lady Vivian. Ah, but I didn't invite you to the Chateau for pleasantries. With Divine Justinia dead, the Chantry's in shambles. Only the Inquisition might restore sanity and order to our frightened people. As the leader of the last loyal Magus of Thedas, I feel it only right that I lend my assistance to your cause. Is your interest in the Inquisition Madame de Fer, or is it more personal? <laughs> Aren't you charming? <laughs> it's professional, of course. The Inquisition will be happy to have you, Lady Vivian. Great things are beginning, my dear. I can promise you that. Okay, so we met a few interesting characters along the way. We still haven't completed the Friend of Jenny. 
but I think we can uh, let that go for now. But at the moment we've got to head back to the Chantry, return to Haven's Chantry, um, and go to the War Room. So we might as well complete that while we're here. Definitely seems to be quite a lot of players in this uh, campaign. Just got to try and keep track of them as best as possible. It's good you've returned. We heard of your encounter. You heard? My agents in a city sent word ahead, of course. It's a shame the Templars have abandoned their senses, as well as the capital. We had to do something, and now we have an opportunity. Yes, and we have the opening we need to approach the Templars and the mages. Do we? Lord Seeker Lucius is not the man I remember. True, he has taken the order somewhere. But to do what? My reports have been very odd. We must look into it. I'm certain not everyone in the Order will support the Lord Seeker. Or the Herald could simply go to meet the mages in Redcliffe instead. You think the Mage Rebellion is more united? It could be ten times worse. I could at least find out what the mages want. No doubt what they've always wanted. Support for their cause. We shouldn't discount Redcliffe. The mages may be worth the risk. They are powerful, Ambassador, but more desperate than you realize. You think the invitation could be some kind of trap? If some among the rebel mages were responsible for what happened at the Conclave, the same could be said about the Templars. True enough. Right now, I'm not certain we have enough influence to approach the Order safely. Then the Inquisition needs agents in more places. That's something you can help with. In the meantime, we should consider other options. There is one other matter. Several months ago, the Grey Wardens of Ferelden vanished. I sent word to those in Orlais, but they have also disappeared. Ordinarily, I wouldn't even consider the idea they're involved in all this, but the timing is curious. That does sound odd, I agree. The others have disregarded my suspicion, but I cannot ignore it. Two days ago, my agents in the Hinterlands heard news of a Grey Warden by the name of Blackwall. If you have the opportunity, please seek him out. Perhaps he can put my mind at ease. And if he can't? Then there may be more going on than we thought. Okay, so it looks like we've got another quest for the Hinterlands as well. Um, but we have to go into the War Room if we're going to complete... How do we unlock this? There we go. Um, not Redcliffe. At least we can get into Redcliffe now, that's something. Head to the Inquisition's War Room. And that will complete the story for that section of what we what we just went through. Did you see the message I sent? Yes, thank you. Templars must help us close the breach. The Order was founded to fight magic. We must first convince the Lord Seeker to bring the Templars out of exile. We've received word from a knight recruit. They gather at Therenfall Redoubt. It has been vacant for decades. Why go there? We must approach the Lord Seeker again to get anywhere. We can ask him then. If we present a plan to seal the breach, the Templars may ally with us. First, we must prove ourselves a more attractive prospect. 
If it's status the Lord Seeker seeks, the Inquisition will approach him after allying with the noblest houses in Orlais. They'll come with us to Therenfall and demand the Templars help close the breach. You believe that will work? Even the Lord Seeker would find it difficult to ignore so many nobles on his doorstep. Yes, especially when led by the Herald of Andraste. If it stops the sky from ripping open, I'm listening. Rumors you were saved from the Fade by Andraste have grown legion among the Templars. We've done our part to encourage them. A Herald with a few companions may be dismissed, easily set aside. That same Herald returning with noble support will be reconsidered, as will the power of the Inquisition. Isn't there the slightest chance the Lord Seeker will see my arrival as a threat? Before, I would have thought he was a man of reason. Now, I could not say. With respect, after his appearance in Valroyo, hang what the Lord Seeker thinks. We do not need the Lord Seeker. We need his Templars. With or without his approval, the breach will not wait for our differences to settle. Good news. Several noble or legion houses will petition the Templars to help us stop the breach. Lord okay, so if we choose the Templars, we'll make it impossible to work with the mages. I see, so we've got two different routes that we need to go down. We could go into Redcliffe. Um, they've been working tirelessly to convince Corus and win over some of our lanes. I reckon... So will I be able to get into Redcliffe though? Let's do this. Let's, let's go with the Templars. It seems like a slightly more... Uh, well, normal kind of... Oh, we've got we've got another mage as well, Vivian. I think I'll stick with who we have at the moment, though, to be honest, because um, I quite like this little team that I've got going on. Although I sort of wonder if Varric is actually worth it. Maybe I'll get rid of Varric and add in Vivian. I wonder what level she is. The Herald of Andraste. Lord Esmeral Abernash, honoured to participate. It is not unlike the second dispersal of the reclaimed Dales. Ah, Lady Vivienne, we met at last summer's ball. The Duke introduced us. Indeed, I could not possibly forget the occasion. The Lord Seeker is willing to hear our petition about closing the breach. A credit to our alliance with the Inquisition. Care to mark the moment? Ten Orlesian houses walk with you. The Inquisition values this alliance, Lord Abernash. The Templars must see reason. We can't let the breach endanger us any longer. Oh yes, ghastly looking thing. The Lord Seeker can't think we're ignoring it. Speaking of which, I don't suppose you'd divulge what finally got their attention. Rumor will, if you won't. What do you mean? The Lord Seeker won't meet us until he greets the Inquisition in person. Quite a surprise after the spat in Val Royale. The Inquisition only asks the Lord Seeker help us close the breach. Then it's all been arranged by your ambassador. Let the diplomats work their magic if you trust them. Between you and I, the Chantry never took advantage of their Templars. Wiser heads should steer them. Here we are, they're in fall redoubt. The Lord Seeker abandoned the White Spire to come here. It appears they've sent someone to greet you. Present well. Everyone is a little tense for my liking. The Lord Seeker changed his mind about us rather quickly. Is he known for that? Perhaps he has a plan for us. Okay guys, I think I'm going to call that the end of this episode here. Next episode we will meet with the Templar and see where that leads us. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.